no can do. The curt and cold reply of Quezon City's Department of Public Order and Safety on Bagong Alyansang Makabayan's request to assemble and picket at the Batasan Road on Monday. And as our Karen Villanda reports, Bayan's defiance to proceed despite a no permit, no rally policy is shaping up for a likely showdown between militants and law enforcement on Sona Day. The local government of Quezon City will strictly implement the no-permit-no-rally policy during the first State of the Nation address of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. on Monday. This comes after city governments and Department of Public Order and Safety rejected the rally permit request of Bagong Alianza Makabayan along Batasan Road on Sona Day. In its directive, Depos insists that Batasan Road is not a freedom park where a protest action can be held. Mass gatherings will also affect traffic flow. Lahat ng mga uh, ganyang klase, especially rally, uh, ini-endorse namin sa QCPD. Nagre-recommend sila ng denial on the basis of yung traffic issues. Tapos syempre gusto nila tahimik yung zona. Pag pinayagan daw mag-rally ron sa malapit na sa Batasan or along Commonwealth, baka magkaroon ng issue ng uh, safety and security. Three freedom parks have been designated on the day of the Sona. These are the Quezon Memorial Circa within the Commission on Human Rights Complex and at the University of the Philippines Diliman Campus. But according to Bayan Secretary General Renato Reyes, it is too far from the Batasang Pambansa and too crowded for them. That is why they will appeal to Quezon City Mayor Joy Belmonte because the rejection of their request is allegedly a violation of their rights. And in 2016 and 2017, the Sona rallies were held along Batasan Road. So, hindi po pwedeng gamitin nilang uh, dahilan yung hindi freedom park kasi nga may presidente. 2016, 2017 sa Batasan Road yung rally para nga makabawas din ng uh, abala no? along Commonwealth Avenue. Bakit nila magawa yun? Right now, ang stand natin na kung po pwede, uh, no rally zone nga ang uh, Commonwealth, eh sana maintindihan nila yon. Ngayon, kung di nila maintindihan, makikiusap po kami sa kanila. Meanwhile, Quezon City officials will still conduct a meeting to decide whether to declare a holiday in the city on Monday. Karen Villanda for The Nation.